guys, this is Melissa Luna and today we're going to talk about some tips for um, keeping our brows on point during quarantine. Meanwhile, you make your next appointment with your brow specialist or your esthetician. I have a big passion for brows. I absolutely love brows. Um, I've taken many, many classes on brows because I feel brows are something that completely change your look. So first and foremost, um, I have my face washed, but I did fill in with my um, powder, I actually got a henna brow by um, Brie. So my sh the way I like to wear my eyebrows is pretty set. So that is a great um, frame to work with. Number two, we are going to brush and trim. So I use a mascara wand or like an eyebrow brush. Some of our, some of them come in our makeup brushes. So you can get some like this from your lash specialist. So when I'm going to trim my eyebrows, I am going to brush my eyebrows the opposite direction, up in the way and shape that they grow. And I'm going to trim whatever sits out. I will, one thing not to do is to hold the brow and push up and then trim. That is going to be like getting a really big trim and you're gonna see a lot of holes and spots. You wanna keep some of the hair. So I'm going to just brush them up and clean the ends. Some of, I, I grew my eyebrows often so I don't have like a lot of crazy hairs um, because I trim them as they're really bushy as already naturally. So they can get really unruly. So you see the difference? I just brush them out, whatever's out of place it's what gets trimmed. We do not hold the brush and trim. That's gonna give you a really big trim that you're gonna regret. Okay, number one. Number two, we talked about shaping your eyebrows first and now we're going to get close and we're going to actually work in this area. It's almost like a crescent moon. We're gonna work on the excess. We don't really wanna get close into the shape that's something for a professional to do for us, unless we have been doing this for a really long time. So I am gonna hold with my finger and I'm going to work on just plucking around here. But once it comes to that area, I'm going to leave it alone because I do not wanna take any length of my eyebrows, any density in my eyebrows. Okay, so the way you tweeze is you grab the hair with the hair growth and you pull it in that direction. So you close it and then you, you grab it, you close and you pull in that direction of the hair growth, okay? We don't pluck that way, we don't pluck like crazy. We simply just get close to the mirror and grab the hair and remove it in the direction of the hair growth. That's how we do it. Hand mirror is essential, so you can certainly do this with your hand mirror. It's hard to do it looking at you guys on the phone. You can certainly use your mascara wand to remove that excess hair. That is looking good for me. I do not want to get into my um, dense parts because I've been growing these corners out. I don't want to lose my corners. Okay, so any of these guys that are right there, you can just pull the eyebrow out and you can work on these little tiny guys here, but that's it, okay? No more. Hand mirror, some of us need a magnifying uh, mirror and that is okay. We are all a different eye. Okay, so we're working around our third eye now. My third eye has its own eyebrow. Let me tell you guys just that. My third eye does have its own eyebrow. In order to get into the third eye and get that really nice framing because it's just our eye of intuition and it deserves to be keen, the rule of thumb is when doing eyebrows, you wanna put your um, pencils, orange wood sticks, like. From here to here is how far down your eyebrow should go. From the mid, from your iris is where your arch should go. So you see that diagonal line? 
and then from the center is where your eyebrows should stop. So that is like our third eye point. My third eye, like I said, has an eyebrow of its own. So we are going to work in tweezing this area without getting into my foundation or starting point for my eyebrow. So that is my target point, that little triangle in the middle. Cool? All right, so I'm going to start tweezing those. So these ones grow that way. These ones are good to also like grab like this and get up. So always grab and pull with the direction the hair grows. And all these middle ones, these ones are gonna take me a really long time because I have a lot of those. Could probably have a Frida. Now I'm gonna move to my other side. Okay, so let's recap, you guys. Number one, you're gonna have a clean face, no oil around your eyes. Number two, I like to create my eyebrow shape that I love first. Number three, we're going to brush opposite direction up down. We're gonna trim the excess just with a little scissor and just not pushing in, just staying on the little pieces that stay out. Number four, we're going to um, actually work in the areas of our brow that are not close to the dense part of it. That's when we go see our esthetician or our brow artist. We're going to groom, so that means tidying up. So we are going to just work on these areas where the hairs get really unruly. To do that, we can hold our eyebrow, we can get close to the mirror, we can grab a hairs and pull with the direction of the hair growth, not getting into the density of the hair. So I'm kind of growing all of those out, so I don't want to fuzz with them. And realistically, you can conceal those. And then we're going to work on our third eye by putting our, to see where the shape with our eyebrow ends, that's our triangle. We're gonna focus on cleaning that little Frida area, third eye up. We're going to just make sure we don't go out more than our corners. And that kind of technically, by the world of symmetry, which we're perfectly imperfect, that should be our arch. And you can see this eyebrow has a perfect arch. And this one is the sister that's working on um, being a twin, but realistically, brows are sisters, not twins. So you guys, after you're done, you wanna give yourself some TLC. I'm using some of my um, highest power botanical oil that I've created and I'll be sharing with you guys later. I'm going to use my ring finger and my middle finger to work on my eyebrows because those these fingers have a lot of strength. These are a lot gentler. And I'm going to put some botanical skin food on them to feed my follicles, to soothe and feed um, any areas where it can get irritated from the tweezing. And all the movements I do are going to go up. Up in, up. In. that's how I apply any product around my eye lifting circling lifting lifting circling lifting so this way and don't forget about your third eye right giving yourself a little nice massage. And why not bring it into your forehead, working it in there. Feed your hair, feed your skin, have an intention where you're doing something with your fingers. I am radiant, I am beautiful, my skin is rejuvenating. A beautiful day lovelies if you want questions if you have questions or want to know about la botanica products that are being launched skin superfood just dm me and for now send me pictures of your brows bye